Good morning, it's Tuesday the 25th of August. Who likes a good story? There's something special, isn't there, about telling or listening to a well-told tale. So I've got a bit of a quiz for you. See if you can guess uh, three of my favourite books from their opening lines. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Well, that's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Next one. Mr and Mrs Dursley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. That's the first Harry Potter book by J.K. Rowling. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. That one's The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. We've been living in extraordinary, unprecedented times recently, and we still are. 2020 will be in the history books as the year the whole world changed almost overnight. And I wonder in years to come, when we tell the story of the pandemic, what it is we'll say. What will be the main plot? Who will be the heroes and who will be the villains? Will there be any comic moments amongst the tragedy? What might the plot twists be? Well, I suppose each one of us will tell our own unique pandemic story, depending on our experiences. Is your pandemic story one of despair or hope? Is it one of loss or renewal? A story of hesitation or perseverance? If your story is anything like mine, it's probably a mixture of all of those things. But of course, whatever our story of these times, we mustn't forget that we are part of God's story too. God's story runs right through history and we're in it right now and it doesn't ever change. It's a story of love, a perfect rescuing love, a love which comes into our messy and hurting world and says to each one of us, you are special. You are loved. You are mine. So whatever circumstances you find yourself in today, whatever feelings and emotions, rest assured that God is right there with you, walking alongside you, offering you his peace, listening to your prayers and wiping away your tears. Perhaps just sit a while with that image of our loving God. Sit a while revelling in God's presence and just be. Let's pray. Father God, for some of us, these past months have been hard, a real challenge, filled with loss. For others, they've been an opportunity to reevaluate, to try new things, and to reconnect. Whatever our circumstances, we are part of your unfolding story. Help us to remember that you are always with us. Amen. <laughs>